Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Eye Trap from Debbie Monero. Okay, we have actually, and I think I have one tomorrow, yes, uh, also from Deb. So we had fun with these on my uh, Spooky Tangles class today, and uh, we're essentially premiering this. Uh, this tangle we had our red carpet world premiere event uh, uh, and it's it is a cute tangle all right starts off with <laughs> which direction which direction do I want it to go I think I'll have it go this well uh, yeah this way so it starts off with a squiggly line however you want to draw it let's see if I can I usually like to draw it this way, so I'm going to do it. I'm doing it different on purpose. You know, and make it like that. <laughs> However it ends up. Now, interesting. It doesn't matter. Either end, really. It doesn't matter which direction, you know, you start. You know, whichever way that this, this end is uh, heading. It doesn't matter. Now, once you get the one side, actually, I could have just turned it this way and it would have been comfortable, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. All right. From this end, and you could do this all in one stroke, we're going to come up and continue it. Doesn't have to mirror or anything, right? We're going to come up the other side. Honestly, it's one of those as goofy as possible is going to be amazing. All right. From here. From one side, I wish it now, let's see, wait, let me, just so I can prove a point. Okay, so let's pretend that that one went this way. Okay, what we're going to do is from both ends, we're going to make a nice C-shaped curve line. So let me do this one first. I'm going to go against my, the natural curve of my hand. And doing a little bit of the takeoff and land concept, and that is, if you don't know, it's where you're tracing over a little bit of what's there. That's your, your um, runway. And then when you land, trace you know over a little bit. That's your landing strip. All right. And so, like I said, just a nice C-shaped curve line here. And then here, same thing. But like I said, it doesn't matter how this, you know, which direction this is ending. I'm just going to take it right from where it ends and come up to the uh, to that base. I just think it's brilliant. Okay, then from here, we can put a little stem type of thing. And you know, it's it's however you want to do it. Let's let's see if I'm gonna have it this way. It's awful big, isn't it? Let's do like that little curve. I like to sometimes um come right off of here with a little bit of a curve line, you know, kind of like that. There we go. That looks cool. Okay. Then coming up from the center, as you can, a line and however long you want this. And at the end, we're going to put a little orb and coming out from that orb, just some little wispy lines, however you want them to be. Like that okay this one I um you know sometimes I get real I don't know you know whatever you want to call it anal OCD ish you know in separating out the steps I didn't do that on this one because I you know it's kind of like you can you can you get it all right so once we have this then on the outside same kind of wispy lines although you know, you could make these a little more. I'm going to make them more deliberate. There's a little, little minute difference in that. But this would then imply that they're, you don't want to touch them. <laughs> Versus wispy would give the impression of, oh, it's soft and fluffy. This is more spiky. Now, 
like that. There we have it. And that is it. Now, um, you know, let me also share because, well, I can put it on the same one. Um, cause Deb also put in, uh, in her step out. Um, well, she taught, let's see. I don't remember if it's on the step out itself. I might put it in the, um, uh, the introducing a new tangle, which would then be the, for more inspiration link, um, kind of the inspiration from this. So you could have a, a little bud if you want to. We'll make this real thin. And we could just do a seed shape like that. And and, and this was the in, inspiration from Ke um, Kelly Blo Blowen, I think is how you pronounce her name, who did this with one of, it was one of Deb's tangles. And did that and she's like oh and then you know kind of sparks flew from there so that could be a bud oh and if we did that um you could put a little you know little beginnings of this here if you wanted to or you could also do something similar you could make it like a like a leaf if you wanted to Like that up to you okay you know what one of those things i want to do i like it every once in a while and this is just something you know that uh maria thomas does is she'll put a little a little v um at the top and i don't know i'm just all of a sudden was moved to do that so i did okay now for some shading i'm gonna let's put some around this edge you know what? Actually, I look at how look at how dark that is. <laughs> I think I was using it with some white here, but let's just see what's left. Oh my gosh, yeah. This is why every once in a while it's a good idea to do this and just use what's left on your tortillon because it's like, well, if I had added that to you know what's already there, then I would definitely have some graphite remorse. It's on there, kind of weird though. Just. Soften it up. I, I think I was using it real hard on the side because it's like, as I'm putting it down, you could see where it, it's like, well, why isn't it putting it right at the tip there? Soften it. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah. Kind of have them match a little bit. Yeah, neat, neat. Okay, here too, we'll just use, we'll kind of use what's left. And we'll come here too. Actually, I'm just, I'm just going to do half of that one. Maybe let's do the same here where it's just more, yeah, half instead of uh, the whole thing. Oh, and then, of course... Let's see, we could go a little bit darker here. Oops, went outside the line. Oh well. And then just kind of in the curve there, because that's neat. And then it makes it look like it's bending out this way. I mean, you could, um, a lot of, most times, I should say, well, actually, let's see if this will work. Sometimes if you use a, either a clean tortillana or it will use the end, just because I don't like to use erasers. Unless it's something really serious, um, like that. That oh, that kind of gives it some some interesting motion. All right, neat tangle. Um, I just want to. There's a line there that I wanted to get out. All right, now that I've made that a little bit darker, let's. Uh, I, I I like to try to make them you know the sides match or something like that. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's just, it's, it's neat. It really is. All right. I hope that you have enjoyed this. We've got to put a little bit of some kind of graphite in there. And if you enjoyed it, please click on the like button. Oh, but wait, well, you know what? Click on the, yeah. Click on the like button, please. If you liked it enough to see more, 
please click to subscribe to the channel. Let me show you though uh, the work I did. So this was our, uh, like I said, our spooky tangles uh, class and had fun with a number of tangles. This is uh, this was yesterday's, and just <laughs> I love that one. It is um, hat flocks, so cute. But so I, you know. I did our eye trap here, you know, did a combination of, you know, little buds and, um, and leaves and, you know, just to have, just to have fun with it. So, um, yeah, just a, what a fun tangle. All right. If you'd like to take, well, this, this was a paid class. So I do have some that are, that have a fee. Those are generally, those are on Tuesdays, not generally. Those are on Tuesdays. The third Tuesday of the month is a free one. That's the only, um, that's the only exception. And, um, otherwise on Thursdays, and, and it could have been, we could have taken this tangle and explored it and had fun with it. I, I, we'll see what I have in mind. I don't know yet. <laughs> Nobody knows what I have in mind for the for the Thursday tangles. Um, it's always a nice, fun surprise. Um, so anyway, come and join us if you you know if you want. Like I said, Thursdays are free tangle time. Um, you know, and then if you you know see a, a topic like this, you know that uh, interests you, come and join us on this side as well. Um, and just by the way, I do have um, a membership club, so it's it's like a um, $35 a month at the moment. I don't necessarily see it uh, getting increased unless I find more hours in the day to do more in the week to do more classes. Um, but it's basically all access except for the, you know, there's some other events like our Tangle Con, um, you know, live uh, events that aren't included. Although they, although my club members get a discount always and you know, uh, advance notice on things like that, that are outside of the, the regular Tuesday classes. But, um, and I haven't, you know what, I'm not really good, great at plugging it. So while I'm on it, I, let me just tell you, um, I said $35 a month and you get, uh, basically one, two, three classes. And if you have the time to come to both sessions, it really is six. <laughs> so, but I do the same content you know, during the day. So it's, it's always the same, but different people, you can try different things. You're all, and even the regular classes, if you just sign up for an individual class, I, you're invited to come to both because it's so much fun. So if you sign up for the AM, because you know, you're going to come to that one, that's great. You're still invited to the PM one and I send you the notes and all that. So, um, anyway, I, we just like to have fun and we would love to have you come join us. So in the description section, I mentioned your know, links to the step outs. And then below that, you will find my link tree. So there is my social media uh, lists for classes. I do uh, post them on Eventbrite. So you can find them there also on my Facebook page. And uh, I'm pretty, you know, I'm not as good as I should be having things on my website in advance. Um, but the, the information is there. And uh, so check it out. And if you have questions, contact information is there also. All right. So with that, thank you so much for watching and get that straight. I wish you happy tangling.